All right, let's see what Hazardous Zone is all about. I hope uh, 4K is gonna work while streaming. Lower the volume a little bit. Gaming development, all right. An amusement park. November 19th, yeah, okay, so, um, the urban, like, initially, I feel like the, the urban gameplay here, or the, the, uh, the map, it looks quite a lot like, uh, what's it called again, that Battle Royale game that became so popular, um, I am sure you know which one I mean, uh, yeah, whatever. Everyone is talking about every time they compare Battlefield, they compare it to the Battle Royale. Now this is—it looks so much. Like war zone. Or is it just me? And this, I it looks really cool. He actually doesn't have to use a parachute here. This is kinda weird. I I don't know. Cause because you had that uh what's it called? The glide suit or or uh I don't know. Could you do that? Could you land like that in the in the beta without using a parachute? I, I don't know. Sure. <laughs> well, some new skins at least. So I think we've seen... Okay, so Hazard Zone, you're supposed to extract something, you're supposed to get, uh, get in, get like a data thing. Not a data chip, it's, it's a little bit too big for that, but like a data core or something and then get out. I'm not sure how many maps we actually saw here, if it was four or five different maps. But you have this, like, the main part of the whole trailer is from this city map. This is a very Warzone esque lookalike. So I don't know if this one is supposed to land somewhere randomly which probably is determined like early in, in, in a round and then you're supposed to extract uh, like a data core or whatever you're supposed to get this thing 
So you have like an attacker defender type game mode. It, it it's not really attacker defender, but it, it's quite like that anyway. It's almost like terrorists planting the bomb, and the counter terrorists are supposed to to stop it. But in this case, it's you extract something. So it's it's seemingly very different, but it might be very similar. Check for targets. Let's see where these drives are. Squad's ready. We're in business. Take the I mean, the, the, this looks exactly like I, I I can't stop thinking Warzone when I see these containers and the the cranes and that. I just acknowledge visual confirm. That's a girl fight. I think that's two female characters actually. The, the the models and the graphics looks really nice. I'm not gonna lie, it does look really nice. And this, I'm not entirely sure. I think we're watching another um, another map here. I mean, you s still see containers and a crane, but this could very well be a different map. Is there anything that indicates whether or not this is another map? I don't know. This is definitely another map. I'm not sure if if we if this is the third map or if, here's another map again. Here's another map again. I'm losing count here. This I don't know. Back to that map again. Not sure. I, I, I'm not sure if we're watching a new map here. Uh, that's hard to set, hard to take, uh, hard to decide. Okay, so I mean the the graphics is is fantastic. Don't get me wrong, the graphics is fantastic. Um, I seems to me that people are not too happy about it. Could be cool. I mean, generally speaking, I just want to, I just want like the core battlefield to be there. Whatever they add to it, you know. I mean, they they, they got to try new new things, right? There's been new game modes like you had the the pigeon game mode, and you had the uh, the dogfight game mode, and you have, you've had a lot lot of different game modes, even in Battlefield One, that never really caught on. Pigeon uh, the the pigeon mode, I, I guess it it was alive for quite a while. Um, but yeah, I mean, you, you just have to have, um, you just have to have the core conquest and I guess oper anything like the operation, operation is kind of like a mixture of rush and conquest. But I don't know, depending on what kind of weapons and, and vehicles you have, I think that game modes like Rush or, or Operations can be too campy. Um, so it could be cool if, if, it's, if uh, the campy weapons are not too powerful. But if they get too powerful, um, you're going to end up in a situation like in... That's the thing also, because Battlefield 1... Operations was really popular. I just couldn't stand it because of like mortar and uh, uh, the sweet spot and the mermaids and stuff like that made operations really really hard for me to enjoy. Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I, I can't make up my mind about Hazard Zone. I don't know what what I think about this. It looks good, but um, I don't know. Th this this. See if I can find it. This map design, as much as this is really nice, this is really this looks fantastic. 
it's starting to feel a little bit a little bit repetitive now it is getting a bit repetitive now the cranes and the and the containers you know making a map of a of a like this is the the docks or the harbor uh, area of a, of a city i mean it is cool it looks fantastic it does but it's it's getting a little bit it's like the the thing that every game has now it is, i don't know well uh i'm still i'm still uh, positive and hopeful for Battlefield 2042 no matter what